most likely it will succeed. After the managerial decisions that shocked game developers in the last six months, Unity took a few steps back, and things seem to have calmed down for now. Moreover, it seems like people who have contacts with game developers have started to become influential in the development of the engine. Unity seems to be on track to solve some of the problems caused by past bad decisions soon. On the other hand, its biggest rival, Unreal Engine, has swiftly become the true ruler of the open AAA market. The idea of providing high-tech game development tools for free initially to game developers is really good. I'm not sure if Unity can be at least technically at the level of Unreal Engine within a few years. Perhaps it doesn't even need to be. After all, Unreal Engine can also overwhelm novice game developers with its complexity. Unity is way ahead of Unreal Engine in terms of quickly creating prototypes, making good-looking games quickly, and publishing on a variety of platforms. I'm not sure if there will be any improvement soon in the terrain and physics systems that don't live up to Unity's overall quality. For now, they offer the Havoc physics engine developers, but the terrain system is being managed with third-party plugins. However, the ease of use of the new toys that come with HDRP reinforces Unity's image as novice-friendly. If you haven't tried the volumetric cloud and water features yet, I highly recommend giving them a try. They work really well and are very easy to use. The future is uncertain, but as it stands now, if Unity becomes once again a game engine focused on game developers, it will be beneficial for everyone, because in any industry without competition, progress slows down and people become complacent. I don't think anyone will benefit from that. Unless, of course, you don't plan on releasing your own perfect game engine and dominating the market. For now, Godot is at least outside of this competition. But it wouldn't be a wrong prediction to foresee that it might also become one of the major players in the near future. As the lead architect said, just not for now. It seems that Unity will come back with its indie game developer-friendly pricing policy and new toys.